All right, today is going to be an exercise in living in the moment and appreciating what's happening right now and not thinking too far into the future, like not even a day. Yeah. Wow, can we do that every day? <laughs> that That's be a nice good mantra. I agree. I, I think that today is one of those days where, you know, if you have the opportunity, step outside, enjoy the sunshine for five minutes. Yeah, for sure. Because there's not much more of it in the forecast. <laughs> today is going to be the nicest day probably out of the next seven. So keep that in mind. It is a bit chilly to start off the day. We're down to 25 now in Sebago, looking at 26 in Lewiston and 32 in Brunswick and Phippsburg. 28 in Augusta, the capital. And as we get into the afternoon, temperatures everywhere will slide back into the 40s under sunny skies. But we are hearing some reports of some slick spots, uh, especially where temperatures have dropped into the 20s. 28 in Dover Foxcroft right now as well. 29 in Waterville and we're looking at 30 in Bangor to kick off this Thursday morning. Still warmer in Bangor than it is in parts of Tennessee, parts of North Carolina, and a lot of the Midwest right now. We did jump up to 32 in Chicago, so we are no longer warmer than Chicago, Illinois, but still impressive to see just how much cold air has sunk into the southeastern part of the United States, especially when here in New England, we've been fairly warm, uh, all things considered. I think that we've actually got maybe a little bit more warmth to get through this afternoon before things take a turn for the cooler next week. Some cloud cover out there this morning. Not a huge deal. No showers to talk about. We'll keep things dry today with high pressure and control. A little bit different as we get into the plains. Snow showers in Kansas and Oklahoma right now. We've got rain that wraps all the way down into the Gulf of Mexico. And this is going to be some of the energy that we watch through the day today and tomorrow. And eventually we deal with our storm on Saturday. So check out how this all works. So we're looking at model data now. Pretty good models showing a pretty realistic scenario of what we see on the radar, which means that the models from here on out, while of course there still could be some issues with the runs themselves, we're not starting off with a, uh, an, a big error at the beginning. That gives us a little more confidence in what the models show. Hour by hour forecast locally here later today. Mostly sunny skies, high temperatures in the low to mid 40s for most. And then tonight we keep things quiet by tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies to start off the day by Friday evening. We'll be talking about overcast conditions. That's all out ahead of this right here. Our next storm is on the way. Very warm air on the warm side of this. Very cold air on the cold side, which means we do have the potential for some snow. Three tracks that this storm could take a more inland track, rainy and warm ish. That would lead to some possible wind impacts, but I'd be more concerned at that point about some flood potential, especially if we dealt with a lot of heavy rain. A more coastal track would actually favor some heavy mountain snow, heavy rain at the coastline. So again, maybe some localized issues there with high water. Strong wind gusts would be a concern, and there is a third option here. Some models still trying to take this out to sea, so we'd actually end up with some snow showers. We'd be on the cold side of the storm. Could be a bit breezy, but we missed the heaviest precip. Right now, I think this is the most likely track in this orange area here, so that would be leaning more toward a snowstorm for the mountains, maybe some uh, heavier showers at the coastline, rain showers that is, with some wind. Sea is going to be 4 to 6 feet today, southwest wind 15 to 20 knots, gusty at the coastline, especially mid coast and down east. I don't have uh, much faith in next week either. I don't know that we're going to mix in too many nice days, chilly and blustery to start off the week. And then maybe by the middle of the week we become a bit more seasonable, but still trending a bit cooler. And notice I haven't put snowflakes on the seven day forecast here for the coastline. Lee Sharon, I've said that all morning long. I've been watching closely to see if we will have to talk about snow chances at the coast. Right now, it looks to be mostly mountains and foothills. Okay, we will continue to watch. Thanks, Mike.